All right, leaving the uh, little camp area over here, this private campground that we stayed at last night. Uh, already went down to Baxter State Park and registered, so we all have a place in the Birches campground. Everybody else is still kind of farting around back there. Uh, they want us to be in the park by 10. It's uh, almost 9.30 now. It's only like a half mile. But I just want to get started. It's overcast. Uh, rain last night. Not supposed to be the, wet, the best weather conditions today. Uh, probably rain later on as well. Uh, only have 10 miles to go. It's supposed, it's supposed to be very scenic, but I'm going to stay on my phone uh, because of the, the possibility of rain. Uh, tomorrow, weather report we got was like just overcast. Uh, same thing up at the summit, just overcast, decent temps. Uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Right now I'm planning on going up the Hunt Trail and coming down the A-Ball Trail. A-Ball is supposed to be the quickest way back down. There is like a little bit of scrambling on both of them, but the one on A-Ball is shorter. But it's, uh, for I heard it's pretty steep. That's okay. I'll just take my time, scoot down on my butt if I need to, but we'll get back down and uh, get a shuttle and get to Millinock. Need to somehow make a reservation there at a hotel or something. Uh, and then. Uh, work out my shuttle to uh, Bangor, be in Bangor for a couple of days, then fly home. That's it. This is all coming to an end. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are in Baxter State Park, 10 miles to the campground. It's supposed to be very scenic. A lot of waterfalls, stuff like that. Uh, hopefully the trail stays like this. That'd be a nice change of pace. Something better than the really rocky mud that we've had for oh so long. This is going to be pretty. Every time I see one of these, it just gets me. <laughs> and big old pine trees just living on top of a rock. Crazy, man. Crazy. Uh, about three miles out from the stopping point. Well, at least uh, Cantada, Cantadan Stream Campground. That's where you got to check in. And the birches. It's just a side trail away from that. Looks like Mr. Sun's trying to poke his head out. Earlier today we had dark clouds rolling in. I thought I was going to get pissed on, but it didn't happen. Lucky me. I think this is uh, kind of what we're going to be looking at tomorrow. Just as partly cloudy sun every so often stuff. You know, 
and I'm sure up to some, it, it'll be socked in, because that's, that's my luck. You guys know that. You've been with me long enough to know. Whenever I get to a good summit, you know, it's 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 cloudy, it's overcast, it's obstructed, it's windy. I only had a couple of uh, perfect days that I remember up on a on a summit. That's all right. That's okay. The uh, ranger, when we checked in this morning, uh, said that last week they were getting snow up there. And a guy had taken a picture who was trying to summit, and his, he did a selfie, I guess, and his beard was just crusted with ice. None of us are prepared for anything like that. None of us have the gear for that. And you know, at the same time, I don't think any of us had that expertise to summit something like this under, under winter conditions. So fingers crossed, weather holds out. And uh, we'll have a nice, safe day tomorrow. Safe being the key. All right, well, we're here, and uh, the one on the bottom, we'll, uh, we'll see that tomorrow.